Let's go ahead. We got the Taskmaster. Let's go ahead and just attack here. Yeah, they're not blocking. Gonna allow me to, to plunder again. And so then we get to attack with two three ones, and then blossoming blade next round we'll put in two three ones. The weak don't deserve mercy. Like those are real you know, like three ones are real threats. You can't just sit there and take three ones all day. You can for a little bit, but not all day. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Taskmaster's Fortune. Uh, it's going to be our next deck today. This is going to be another Bilgewater deck, but we're going to be heading on over to Ionia and going to be combining some of the free ways to attack with Blade Dance with Misfortune that wants us to attack four times to level up. That's kind of the thinking of our deck here. So we're going to be playing a Jagged Taskmaster deck, the whole Taskmaster's Fortune part. So our one-cost allies everywhere get plus one, plus zero whenever we're able to plunder a Jagged Taskmaster. And that's pretty important because whenever we play, like, Blade Dance things, and we get, like, you know, Flawless Duets, all that kind of stuff, you usually get, like, little one-ones. Now, whenever you have, like, Azir in play, that starts, you know, they can buff those up and things like that. Like, then they become, like, real attackers, or, like, you get Sand Soldiers coming alongside with them. But just having little one-ones, that's not much of an attack. But now with the Taskmaster, that can buff those up. So then there'll be two ones coming in. Each one, each Blade Dance would be a two one. Plus, we're going to be playing a lot of the recall cards that Ionia has to offer. Retreat, Lead and Follow, which are obviously great with Droplet, but that's going to be good with like a card like Jagged Taskmaster. Because we could, you know, we deal damage to them. We play Jagged Taskmaster. We pick Jagged Taskmaster back up. We play it again. You know, like you can do that and, you know, use, use that and really buff up those... Uh, blade dances and just your one cost allies everywhere. We're gonna have a couple other ways to put one cost allies into play We're gonna have monkey idol Putting in these powder monkeys. These are gonna be one cost allies. Maybe buff those up They also help enable plunder island navigator is gonna be the scout scouts important with misfortune um, And then of course it puts a random one cost follower into play as well So there we go. So that's kind of like the um, synergies between the deck We also have homecoming that can recall our own taskmaster or droplet and do stuff like that. Plus, later on in the game, once we've buffed up those blade dances, we can also be bouncing like our ribbon dancers as well. Our other champions, we're going to have one Yasuo for all of the uh, recalling that we're doing ourselves um, to, you know, maybe level up a Yasuo and have it do its thing. We don't really stun our opponent's units too much. We basically just have Homecoming that, as far as using the level up. So it's not too much of a Yasuo deck, but Yasuo can just kind of, you know, uh, be a really good quick attack attacker and, and things like that and then we also have twisted fates because you know twisted fates awesome twisted fate does have the ability to stun so i guess that's that's how we could have stun with yasuo um and then you know has all the destiny cards as well all right so let's go ahead and give it a try looks like a pretty interesting deck this we're calling it taskmaster's fortune here we go okay we got aurelia azir Okay, we're going to keep the droplet because of all of the recall that we have, but I'm going to go ahead and send the rest back. Yeah, Misfortune definitely going to be important to find, and Taskmaster also kind of important. The other stuff's pretty slow. Didn't get very good hand after mulliganing again. Four mana, four mana, five mana. Not too good. Hmm. All in the shoulders. It's good. It's nice to have these after misfortune, but we already have like a lot of top end right now, so I don't want to. I don't think we can really afford to save things. For how they didn't attack, I kind of felt like they wouldn't block. And I'm obviously glad they didn't block. Time for a leap of faith. 
Yeah, I think that, um, yeah, I think you do get paired against mirror regions a lot. But I actually did the math, and um, getting, like, if you play, like, Bilgewater Ionia, us playing against either an Ionia or a Bilgewater deck, it will happen 46% of the time. And so you're actually going to just get paired against, like, yeah, so like you're going to get, that's assuming every single region is played equally. You're going to get paired against like one region that's the same quite a bit. I guess I just pass and hold up this lead and follow, I guess. Walk softly, strike quickly. Okay. I wish I had you a little bit earlier, Taskmaster. That's my cue. Let's go ahead. We got the Taskmaster. Let's go ahead and just attack here. Yeah, they're not blocking. The sea beasts will bear us. Whew. gonna allow me to, to plunder again and so then we get to attack with two three ones and then blossoming blade next round we'll put in two three ones the weak don't deserve mercy. like those are real you know like three ones are real threats you can't just sit there and take three ones all day you can for a little bit but not all day Right, so they're only at two out of fourteen. May my steps and my heart be light as air. Wow. Maybe they can't take it all day. Maybe I was wrong. That went from <laughs> 2 to 10 real fast. do this and you know, just try to hit two droplets okay so I, I have six mana I can go like Island Navigator plus Ribbon Dancer or like Island Navigator plus Make It Rain Grand Antonio with the Twitch Prime sub thank you so much Grand Antonio I appreciate that so maybe we just lead with the Navigator and see what they do I do not speak any Spanish but welcome to the string no habla espanol. The ocean whispers her secrets. That thing's pretty big. My heart weeps for I have wisdom beyond weakness, Sharima. This is our way. Always forward. This is our way. Yeah, I was afraid of that block. Okay, well. No, really? A Nopify? Why are people still putting Nopify in their deck? Uh, <laughs> I guess it's good against me. Watch me now. They don't have any mana though. Oh, I guess they're dead. Yeah. I was gonna say, you know, I was gonna say that thought they're gonna like.
put in something in a burst speed, but they don't have any mana. So they dead. Zoe, Shivana, Aurelian, Soul. Get some Zoe dragons. So it looks like three Shivana, two Aurelian, Soul, one Zoe. I actually just like this hand. I really do. I like having Misfortune on the play on three. I like the Twin Disciplines to protect Misfortune from all their different challengers and stuff. So it doesn't mean that we're necessarily going to win, but I am very happy about what our hand looks like. Whoa. And so we'll have like the scout attackers, plus we're going to get the extra attack with the Ribbon Dancer. So definitely really liking how this is looking. But they could also do like, I don't know, some big scary dragon stuff and challenge and kill my misfortune or single combat it or whatever. And go downhill in a hurry. Break their spirits and their souls. So yeah, they have sharp sight. Yep. This is my opponent. Love ya. That's all right. You did your drop uh, one drop. You traded with sharp sight, a very premium combat trick for a one mana unit. Plus, you got uh, one attack for misfortune. So you, you did your job. Who does not know the name Laurent? So I know they get to just challenge and kill this thing. Oh, it's a dancing droplet. How about that? But I can't just like pass it around because if I pass they could pass also and I can't waste all that mana. Okay, here we go. This is our way. So that's gonna be attack number two. Ribbon Dancer can make attack number three. Other Island Navigator attack will be attack number four. Surprised they, they were, like why even put that blocker there? Like you just saved two life. Like wouldn't you rather just be at 15 and then also have a protege in play. All in the Doesn't that sound better? Maybe I'll just do that also. It's only one mana over there. I'll just, I guess I'm just healing my misfortune for nothing. I, it was kind of like my instinct to do that because I had that the whole time. But then, yeah, basically just getting rid of a blocker anyway. I think so it doesn't even get to block. So that is what our deck is all about. Hopefully we have that same kind of hand all the time. That's an impressive victory. <laughs> Tarek Shivana. Man, those, talk about champs that I enjoy playing. They are both 4 mana champs, so they do uh, kind of take up the same spot on the curve. Love having access to these three, but how do we turn on a plunder? Droplet? No, not droplet. Droplet? Not droplet. So I haven't figured out that part yet. Together, we can do this. Doubtful. No time to rest. Oh. 
All right, taking a little slow. Setting up. I serve my people with pride. I serve my burger with fries. Got a lot of options here. The ocean whispers her secrets. I won't stop now. You've made your man. So I'm playing the Island Navigator. I, I, I definitely thought about going Twisted Fate Gold card, but I played the Island Navigator so that I could... Um, and by the way, this is a Plunder ability, so putting putting Jagged Taskmaster in play, like, that's not a summon. Like, Plunder's not a summon. But anyway, I thought about doing the... Or so basically, I was, was going to do like the Island Navigator, so the next round we have the five mana, so that I go... Um, I guess we gotta do the scout first. Do I need to stun? Let's see. No, because oh, if this gets blocked, it gets plus five plus zero. So never mind. That card's amazing. Because then I was gonna have the five mana for Taskmaster and Misfortune together the same round. Um. Wow. So that thing's at 8 out of 12. Hey, Tia. How's the partner? Pretty good. Quit smoking. Droplet. Tarek, are you here to help me? The journey is yours, but I'll help where I can. Good to know. Guide us. Oh no! No! No time to rest. No challenger. They are nothing. Get the twist fate. Yes. Never yeah. Fool, do not doubt. Witness my true power. Don't really know how they kept misfortune alive, but. Each is made in your name, Protector. Give me grace enough to mask my doubts. This is not the way. <laughs> oh no? This is in a misfortunes make it rain. Oh no. Man, we are so close to having this. But then single combat plus radiant guardian. I guess this is over. Wow. Well. Okay. That's better than a lot of things we could draw. But may not be depending on Okay, good. They're allowing me to, to you know go gold card. Feel me in. 
Because I don't want them to be able to attack and get the strafing strike. That's I'm worried about that strafing strike for sure. Hold it, partner. Look sharp. Strike for justice. All right, so they can't take damage or die. Preserve beauty and protect all life. Yeah, this homecoming was perfect. Never submit. Now kill the Shivana. Good homecoming. Now I'm pretty sure I just could just attack. I mean, if I attack, like, what's their plan? It's probably not a very good plan. I mean, I guess it's... No, it's not lifesteal barrier. Why don't I just stun this thing, though? Might as well just stun it. Yeah, like I, so I got the deny draw for a judgment. If that was a plan, that's probably not the plan right now. Do they have like zero mana burst speed sacrifice plus radiant guardian? No, that's probably not a thing. All right, GGs. We are three and O. Oh. Yeah, attack all probably would have been fine, but I think that that still just set us up better. Just making it so we got another attacker in play and that thing couldn't block. And then they had to spend more mana. Alright, so we have three Echo, two Sivir, one Zillion. They always, they always put the champions like that. You're three, then you're two, then you're one. So just one Zillion in the deck. Just in case you want some time bombs, you know, just just to get a couple of time bombs, just in case. Alright, I'll start with the Taskmaster, look for... Cool, look for Misfortune, look for Dancing Droplet. Nope. Because this would have been a good Droplet hand of... You know, play Droplet on one, attack, and then Taskmaster. Instead, I will pass. Save my spell mana. Gonna wait for the Ribbon Dancer till after Misfortune. Thanks, Droplet. Yeah, and that's true. 222 two, two is always an option as well, I suppose. Interesting reaction. Because it is alphabetical. Um. Do, 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 do. What does it mean? It's hard not to play Misfortune, but I could could have gone double Taskmaster right here. Gross. Why are people mean and kill my stuff? These are my streets. Really, that thing? I mean, I guess. Yeah, I assume they're gonna have their one-one drop order challenge this and like attack with these things, or just the merciless hunter. That's right, run! I probably should play something though. I guess this I did, did set them up for a very good block.
yeah, I mean, that that should easily be, like, you know, one of these things challenging that 0-1, and then just have the 4-3 just do 4 damage. Okay, but, I'll take it. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. I think that this, whatever this thing's called, Minion Knot, I think he's my least favorite of the Guardians, because you can you can hear his beeping like in the background, even though it's the opponent's Guardian, you can still just, you, know, you can still just hear him in the background. He's unfortunately my least favorite. Spin around, throw it down. Spin around, throw it down. 3-1 blades are real. Not quite leveled up. <laughs> yeah, basically, build your own Inspiring Marshal. So we got permanent Inspiring Marshal now. We even have the opportunity to... Uh, yeah. We can, you know, recall our own Taskmasters. Wrap them up tight. Yeah, attack with that, please. No, go back, attack with the other thing. What are we doing? Kind of want to lead and follow and bounce the Taskmaster <laughs> and play it again, but no, I'm just gonna do this. My I can still do that afterwards, but I want them to, you know, I don't want to just give them like a super easy Mystic shot. All coming back to me now. Yep, there's one Yasuo in here. He's chilling. He's doing his thing. Quit struggling. I'm telling y'all, three ones are real attackers. Three ones are real. Sure. Alright. So this is five mana. Do two damage to two of their followers, plus have them use two cards. That's pretty good. Gross. You know, deja vu isn't what it used to be. I guess I just pass. It's just too easy of a mystic shot still if I lead and follow a taskmaster. Okay, well now we have misfortune. Hey there, little one. A Twist of Fate red card wouldn't be bad here either. Good to see you. This one's a fighter. Quit struggling. I'm going to be casting the lead and follow on the Blossoming Blade. It is more difficult for them. You know, they can still have Get Excited, right? But it's, or, you know, something like that. It's more difficult for them to just kill a, a three health thing than a two health thing. Plus, I guess I'd have the Homecoming that I could respond with, but. Lead and follow on this would give me another attack with the Flawless Duet and another attack with the Blossoming Blade. 
Lots more attacks. It's going to be pretty tough for them to handle this. We'll see what they got with those three cards. I can also go Twisted Fate Gold card here and take out a blocker. No. Nah. These are my streets. I guess they're gonna look they're gonna be looking for Chrono Break. Hmm. Maybe I should have taken out the blocker. I think my play is hope they don't have Chrono Break. Because I want to save this, this Homecoming to help protect the Misfortune next round. Please don't have it. Something else. Still be it. I can't play this. They get a block with both, and then Chrono Break and get even more back and get another time trick. Everything. Yes, no Chrono Break. Woo! Yeah, Chrono Break is so busted. <laughs> okay, well, that makes life a lot better. Hey, Tia. How's the partner? Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Hold it, partner. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Cool. Hope it's not another corner break, though. But the reason why I'm doing it right there is because I don't want to like have them have their 5-1 challenge my misfortune and then I you know then I try that and just see what happens right like I want um Why would the 1-3 attack? I don't even know why this thing's attacking. All right, so they were holding on to that Mystic Shot the whole time. Why is this thing attacking? Why didn't I, and why didn't I block? It was Chrono Break. Oh man, that card is unbeatable. All right, well, I guess they win. GG's. Teaches me for casting that Maker Rain. Cast that Maker Rain looks like a terrible idea now. But I would have just died like the next round. All coming back to me now. Yeah. GG's. Okay, that gives me real hope. Because I can kill Echo. Because Echo getting, you know, these zero mana time tricks every single round is just kind of really difficult to beat. Real good to see you. At least gives me hope. That's new. You're provoking it. I have all like the recall cards that I could draw. That it's so it makes it not worth trading those off. Like that. I'm a woman of principle. Mine is 
Still puts this back in my hand. Just gets rid of the spell shield. I didn't want to bounce the Xenotype Researchers anyway, because they just have plenty of mana, they would just replay it. I also could have just taken a pass. I guess I didn't have to play that right there, because like if we draw like Misfortune, then that would have been better. Slaves for the guiltless. Oh man. You can say my opponent's been drawing super well, but that's what happens when you're predicting so much, right? Like, they got so many free predicts with, like, all those time tricks and everything. And so, yeah, like, that's why they're going to have awesome cards. Like, that's just going to happen. I guess... Blossoming Blade is more valuable than Yasuo. This was, of course, all because of Chrono Break. Chrono Break is messed up. Alright, Draven Riven. No Chrono Breaks here. We don't need to. We don't need to deny. Homecoming is going to be perfect. I think I, I keep Taskmaster as well. But there, you know, this kind of deck usually like goes all in on like one of these, and they usually have like the um, survival skills to protect, but that doesn't protect against. Homecoming. So hoping to get something a little better. I have the best job. Do. Too bad. isn't working out at all. So it basically makes it so now, you know, like with them having that regen now, it makes the play, my, my plan of like Ribbon Dancer into Taskmaster makes that plan pretty poor. Let's hear what this is pretty awesome. Okay, so you may think like why don't I could like block and then and then bounce, but if I block then bounce then they can have whirling death. And so it's just not worth it. Keep them from leveling up their Draven. Gotta 
rock with your name on it. Wow. I thought they would just block with the two three. Yeah, Draven, Draven Riven is all in on the champions. They're going Freljord for the other region, for the different Freljord protection spells. Usually they go um, Ionia with the other region. I can't possibly do any damage, though. I can't turn on Plunder, and I have to turn on Plunder, and this is just uh, frustrating because I can't do what I have to do. That must be nice. I don't have a card in hand that has any text. I do not want to play Blossom Blade. I do not want to give them free Spinning X. No, thank you. I guess you know maybe before you know before this Tusk Rider, I get but no, no, no. Listen up. Thank you, a looker. Okay, I was kind of testing them for like whirling death. Now we're talking. Ugh, I hope that was mud. Now we're talking. The sea beasts will fear us. Is that to be four or less? Okay, so finally we uh, got some plunder on. That, that makes our life a lot better. Cool. And obviously, assuming they couldn't rally there, so now we have we have the two homecoming for protection. Not dead yet? Can we turn this around? Maybe I'll turn this around. We had a crazy Jagged Butcher round. These things don't have Scout anymore, of course, but... Put them down to one. So close. Uh, it's Raven time. Looking good, kid. The sea beasts will fear us. No, they, if they had, they would have played fervor a long time ago if they had fervor. I've been tapped out every single round.
winter. Now we're cooking. Blessed by snow and stars. Okay, good. It's not leveling that thing up. All right, they conceded. I don't really know why. Because they have that lethal attacker with the big overwhelm. So... I don't know. Did they... Hmm. I don't know. Like, why not take a draw step in to see what happens? I had the homecoming. So I had it under control, but... They're... I don't know. Like, their deck's built on, like, pump spells and stuff. They already played, you know, multiple of the... Uh, the blade fragments and so they drew like the two one or ribbon they drew like one of those that like give a blade fragment and then they get to then they make the um the blade of the exile and then they can blade of the exile their draven and then they got two big overwhelm things that are like both lethal what a comeback what a comeback we just needed we needed to just do a little bit of plunder to enable our whole hand right to just like turn on the taskmaster and just get triple up a task mask Taskmaster, and we eventually did it. So there we go. Another four and one. Good day so far. Misfortune, Twisted Fate, Yasuo. Definitely a different deck than I have played before, but I think it did pretty well. Like these Ionia cards uh, really looked good with the Misfortune. The Jagged Taskmaster was incredible because it is Taskmaster's Fortune. Yasuo, not so much. Yasuo doesn't really fit the deck that well. I would probably recommend just playing a third Twisted Fate, because Twisted Fate's pretty broken. Or, if you want, like, a different one of instead of Twisted Fate, maybe even just, like, a Zed. Right, because Zed is just an amazing attacker. Um, and you can, you know, like, put in Zed into play with, like, a return. Uh, you know, could, could play a Lulu. Do some cool support stuff, I suppose. Or a Gangplank. May not be a bad gangplank deck, but we don't plunder a ton. But I don't know, Yasuo didn't really fit. But those those are some other options. Uh, but Yasuo is a four four quick attack. So uh, yeah, Aurelia, duh. <laughs> yeah, I guess Aurelia would fit perfectly, creating the flawless duets each round. That actually just fits perfectly. So yeah, you could just have an Aurelia as a one of. I think I I like having Twist of Fate though, because Twist of Fate is so good. And so I don't think I'd I don't think I'd recommend just going three Misfortune three Aurelia. But I do think that, yeah, probably really is the, the best one of to have and just keep the Twisted Fates. And, like, if you do have a really a cool, if you don't, it's all good kind of thing. If you want, you can unbench the Kench. Absolutely. You can do that. But cool little deck here. Taskmaster's Fortune. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments about the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And if you try it out yourself, um, let me know how it goes for you and how you like it. All right, but that's going to be it here for Taskmaster's Fortune. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.